Hello and welcome to another video here on Conan Exiles. In this video we're going to take a quick look at some of my recommendations for your followers of the best armor to give them, whether that's strength focused or agility focused and we'll also take a look at some health boosting armors but we'll also take a look at some that you can farm relatively easy that will help them out in the early stages and also a couple of sets that you can craft early on to get your followers going on your follower journey so there are many many different sets of armor throughout the world of Conan Exiles ranging from light armor, medium armor, heavy armor all giving different bonuses and benefits and this doesn't just apply to player characters this applies to your followers also and depending on the type of follower you have will dictate more on when they are fully leveled what they level in more so so if they have more points in strength they will be more strength based or if they have more points in agility they should be more agility focused but that's something we'll look at in a future video so for this one we're going to take a look at some early game armors that you can craft pretty easily one's a health based armor and one is a strength based armor and then we'll take a look at a couple of sets that you can farm when you're out and about in the world and then at the end we'll take a look at my recommendations for a ultimate strength and agility setup so two different setups one for strength one for agility that I find works really really well I've been using this on my followers for a long long time now and with these particular setups they take literally hardly any damage or next to no damage whatsoever and dish out a heck of a lot of damage to the enemies so let's jump into it. So I've just got a couple of examples here. You can also get armor that gives bonuses to agility as well. But these are just two examples here. Both heavy armor. The one on the left is the Barakan Reaver. Which, or the Barachan Reaver, however you want to pronounce it. Which is a health focus set. And the one on the right is the Hyperborean armor. I'm not going to say the full name, but you'll see the name when it appears on the video. Well, that's also another heavy set but that is more strength focused so you'll get a bonus to strength per piece and you craft these on your armorers bench even the very basic armorers bench if you've unlocked them in your knowledge so if you go to your knowledge and then go along to your armors you can unlock many many different armor sets early game from here and you can craft them on your armorers bench and they will come with very low values at first because if you craft them without a crafter on the bench these are just spawned in but it's the same stats to what it would be if you crafted them as you can see Barakan Reaver a heavy health focused armor which is pretty good for followers early on gives them a nice little bit of armor but it will also give them a little boost to their HP and also this one which as you can see here is a strength focused armor so it's heavy armor once again and all five pieces you get a bonus to strength weapon damage which we'll explain later on so they are two early game armors that you can craft pretty easily if you want something strength focused the hyperborean is one you could use or if you want vitality you could use the barracan reaver or if you complete the armor journeys, I think there's three stages to it, and you unlock and complete the journey that allows you to gain the perfected armors, you can get the perfected light, perfected medium, and perfected heavy armor, which is these. So as you'll see with this one, this is the perfected version of the regular heavy armor that you can craft but this gives you bonuses to both strength and agility so it's sort of a double edged sword with that one you get bonuses to health and agility so this could be pretty good for you as a player as well because it also gives you a bonus to your carry weight but this is another option personally I don't tend to use dual stat uh, armors on followers because if I want mine to be focused on a specific number or stat I will tend to go with armors that have one particular stat on it so either strength or agility 
because it's all to do with the bonuses at the bottom it does give them a slight increase to that bonus it doesn't affect them terribly but if you're trying to focus on a strength build or a vitality build then try and stick to one particular way uh, <clears throat> excuse me and just an example is if we move on down the line here while you're out and about in the world once you get leveled up a little bit and you've got some decent armor and decent weapons one of the other options for a heavy health armor that you have is this one now when you farm this out in the world do bear in mind this will not be at full durability each piece each of these will be damaged at varying different amounts depending on how they spawn when you get them off the enemies but this is the Cimmerian steel armor which again is another heavy health based armor and you can farm all of this from the Cimmerian fighters and archers up here at Mounds of the Dead so all in this area when you kill them since the recent update any enemies you kill will now potentially have a high chance of dropping at least one piece if not two or more pieces of the armor that they're wearing uh, so you can whack this on your follower as well yes it would be better if it was fully repaired but it would do as a starting point another option you have which is a bit more strength focused but there's a bit of a I say downside to it because there are stats on this particular armor set that are of no value to an NPC whatsoever because they don't benefit from it and that's this one which is the Silent Legion heavy armor which does give a bonus to strength from the head and the chest and health from the hands but it's these two particular ones which is your stamina and then your carry capacity they're totally pointless on a follower because followers do not benefit from a boost to carry weight or stamina this is only ideal for a player so this is a perfect set for a player but you also have the redeemed legion version of this armor which is slightly better and this is better for a player because it also as you can see gives you resistances to heat and cold but if you get the redeemed legion version if you craft that one which has to be crafted on at least the improved armor's bench with a tier 4 crafter not only will you get higher armor value but it will give you a higher boost on your heat and cold resistance but these top three pieces you could definitely use on a follower just not these two because obviously later on the, the legs and feet are kind of pointless so you've got a couple of early game options and then as you get a little bit better you've got two options there and these particular the silent legion you can get from what we call one school mini bosses around the map so if you find any relic hunter treasure seekers which there are multiple locations here in the unnamed city and also over here in the silver mine if you go into there and also in the wine cellar dungeon at Sepham Rue there are locations where you will see relic hunter treasure seekers and a what we call mini boss who will be wearing the silent legion armor and they have a very high chance of dropping again either one or more pieces of the silent legion so that's fairly easy now to get early on so that is early to mid game and then this is where now once you've leveled up yourself and you've got yourself a named crafter ideally a shield right armor to give you the most armor value a durability temperite armor will give you more durability and a scout right i think they are called will give you weight reduction so you make your heavy armor weigh less but most people including myself will recommend a shield right armor for the highest armor value and we'll take a look shortly at just why that has any huge benefit to you but once you've got them and you've leveled yourself up a little bit you've got yourself a shield right armorer and you've been out and farmed the resources needed to craft these various armors or you've been to the various dungeons that you need to learn the recipes from i'll touch on those in a second then you can start to kind of mix these two up a little bit and have a mixture of vitality and strength if you like or you could go more strength focused so that they just if their HP is pretty good so you can put out more damage 
Now this is the point towards endgame where it does start to get a little bit more interesting because there are lots of different options again still but there are at least three if not four recipes that you could go out and learn from a couple of different dungeons and one from the sinkhole to allow you to kind of mix things up a little bit and yes you'll see from the mannequin behind me the one on my left shoulder to the right of the screen for you just looks like an absolute weird mashup same with the one on the left but with the new illusionary system as I'll show you at the end you can actually make these ridiculous mismatch armor sets actually look decent just like the outfit that I'm wearing right now but we'll touch on those shortly so what you could do is you can go up to the black keep and learn the silent legion armor which will also give you the redeem legion armor but in order to do this you would need a set of silent legion that you farmed yourself as well or some spicy food or some decent armor at least to get you up here to the black keep and complete the black keep dungeon and you can learn the armor recipe at the end of that which will teach you the one-handed sword and the two-handed sword which is Telis Lament and Telis Sorrow the big two-handed sword and it will teach you the Silent Legion light, medium and heavy armor and also with a tier 4 crafter the Redeem Legion which if we take a look at this one here we can go onto here and as you can see now that is like the Silent Legion helmet but it's the Redeem Legion helmet so it's slightly better armor value the Void Forge Dragon chest, which is a heavy chest piece again, which gives really high armor value. Then you could mix in these gloves as well, which is Silent Legion once again for the health. But then, as we said before, you could change out the legs and the feet. If you wanted to go a little bit of HP, you could go with the Sumerian Steel on the legs and feet. Or if you've been to Clayel Stronghold or the Warmaker Sanctuary and you've learnt the Godbreaker armour at the end of that dungeon plus you've also snuck into the arena if you don't want to fight the arena champion and you've learnt the arena champion's armour recipe I'll show all of these locations at the end of the video so you know where to go to learn them you could do this setup which again is Redeem Legion Helmet, the Void Force Chest and then the hands which are the Godbreaker grips which are from the Godbreaker armor that you learn as I say at the end of the Warmaker Sanctuary Champion's leggings which are heavy once again and that's from the Champion's armor and then you could mix them in with the Hyperborean boots which are craftable so you could make those very easily two different options there so you've got multiple different ways of mixing things in a few different recipes to try and learn so alright you could think well I haven't been to learn champion's armour I've been and learned the others but I haven't got to the war makers yet and I've not, not learned godbreaker or the champion's armour what other options do I have? well you do actually have some another option you have is you can go again with the redeem legion helmet for the strength boost and the high armour same with the chest piece once again but then for the hands you could keep in the redeem legion gauntlets which give them a health boost or if you own all of the DLCs for the game so for example the DLC that gives you the Pictish armor set so you get three different ones you've got the Pictish War Chief which is a heavy armor set again and this gives bonuses to strength on all its pieces so for this one on the right as you can see we have the normal setup up top and then you could use the Godbreaker if you have learnt those or if you haven't you could learn use Redeem Legion or the Sumerian Steel if you've got a bit of health or you could use the Pictish War Chief hands if you like if you've got those and then the legs and then the feet these are all spawned armor sets so they are at their minimal armor value however once again if crafted with a tier 4 armorer and you use bulked plating on them that will bump up the armor even higher well that's one option you've got 
or if you've been playing in Age of War you've got this set which is the exact same setup again but then for the bottom three pieces you've got the Tavern Guard armor which was unlocked from the Battle Pass at the time of Age of War Chapter 3 you could use three of those and they'll give bonuses to strength once again so that's just another option that you have for sort of spicing things up a little bit but if you want to get really brave and really give your follower the best armor that they potentially could have either as a strength build or an agility build if they've got really good HP they've leveled up quite well in their health or vitality as it's called in this game but you want them to hit like an absolute truck then this is my recommendations coming up for a strength build for your follower or an agility build so just to switch things over for a moment if you want to go full agility for your follower be they an archer or a melee weapon focused character using for example a katana you could give them again another heavy armor always keep them in heavy armor because it gives the most armor value you could use this one which as you can see is called the Stygian Soldier and this gives a bonus of 3 I think it is, minimum agility bonus per piece here however if you craft it with your shield right armor or any tier 4 armor this will take this to 5 points of agility per piece so you get 25 extra agility bonus which will appear in the agility bonus stats at the bottom of the followers information page which for example if we take a look at our two friends here these are both level zero as you can see and if you look at the numbers at the bottom left there unleveled but with this particular armor set on they already have a decent bonus to their agility before they even started leveling up and that's because the five piece agility set that they're wearing the Stygian soldier gives them a five to each piece of armor boosting them up already at the unlevel stage and these have just been put into the relic hunter armor using the illusionary system so we haven't used it for the male but we've just used it for the female just to do earrings rather than the headpiece well that just shows you that these guys for example because they are relic hunter treasure seekers they come with 20 points off the wheel in agility so they are an agility focused follower so if you get a decent high percentage chance to level them up in agility that is what you want to go with so you want to go agility and vitality with these so that just gives you an idea there of the 1441 uh, base armor value and then the bottom number the 1566 is if you add the bolt plate into the armor so this one doesn't have the bolt plate in and you see the armor value there up the top right this one does and again as you can see it gives them a bit more value to the armor it doesn't increase their damage anymore but it gives them a little bit more armor value because of the bulked plating so then if we refer back to our health armor set again which is the Sumerian steel as you can see these guys start with this armor with a base health of 2649 and this is crafted with a shield right armor but no bulk plating if they have this armor on again with the crafted version as opposed to the non-crafted version then as you can see their base HP increases a little bit only by 40 points so it's not a huge jump from the normal base health to the better one but if we take a look at their stats as you can see both already at level 0 no extra points in strength or agility and it doesn't show up in their health bonus as yet but as you can see their vitality at the bottom of the middle of the screen there that is the Sumerian steel set which is a really good health set you could even use this yourself if you wanted to but it's a really good one for your followers 
So then if we move along again, we come back to our strength based people. So this means base strength damage of six. So just to use a Sumerian Berserker for an example, off the Wheel of Friendship, they will come out of there with six base points in strength for their strength weapon bonus. And they already have 15 points in strength. So with these guys again, and the 13 vitality you would want to focus on boosting their strength and vitality typically if you've got a higher chance of them gaining strength i'd try and boost their hp a bit whereas if their hp chance is higher than their strength gain chance then feed them gruel to boost their strength damage bonus or if it's the other way around then feed them grilled steak to boost their health if their strength chance is a lot higher than the vitality chance and these guys can actually become pretty good followers as of the time of this video in Age of War Chapter 3 the Sumerian Berserker is the hardest hitting damage multiplayer thrall or friend in the game with a very close second spot of Delincia Snow Hunter so Sumerian Berserkers are a really really good shout but that just shows you at level zero what she comes she or he comes out of the box with as a Sumerian Berserker. Then if you apply the crafted version of our setup that we've got, and this is the setup that I use for my followers and always have done. So the Redeem Legion helmet, the Void Force chest, the Godbreaker grips, the Pictish War Chief legs and the Pictish War Chief feet. This is the crafted version but without the bulk plating if we take a look at her stats and the numbers you want to focus on are the ones at the bottom again you can already see unleveled what her strength weapon bonus is there with the percentage at the bottom already a pretty decent stat compared to just having six points in and it would work exactly the same if we took this armor off this one and put it onto this one this is the exact same way that she would work she would end up with instead of six she'd end up with a similar number to her and again the only thing that varies is their percentage chance and you can see in the middle there the 2549 that's their base HP that the Sumerian Berserkers will come with so that is the base damage of six and you can potentially have them going up to 37 as this one is here so now if we added the bolts plate into this armor you see that armor value up at the top right there once again if we added the bolt plates into this this would increase even higher and if this follower was to gain points in grit as she was leveling then she would then also gain a boost to her armor so those are just a few different examples of ways of building your armor for your follower and you can also give them a style as you can see by our fan favorite stood behind me here Miss Delincia Snow Hunter she's in her outfit that we have her set in on this server she is obviously wearing if we take a look at her the regular setup that I've just spoken about and this is the one I recommend people give a try because with this particular setup and either a two-handed sword or if you give Delincia the momentum if you have the momentum legendary one-handed mace she's an absolute beast with that one and as you can see with this armor setup and the bulk plating and also now with the way she leveled up so the bonuses that she gained in her leveling ignore the numbers on the right the plus seven as that's to do with the food that she's been using but with her stats on the far right as you can see with the perks that she got at level 10 15 and 20 you can see on the left there the pluses that that gave to her in her vitality and strength which in turn has boosted her bonuses down at the bottom so that means because she also gained a few points in grit that that's why instead of her armor value being as low as it was we actually get an increase on the armor value of 1744 which you can see there So if we take a look there again that's gone much higher not just because the fact that this was crafted with a tier 4 and it has a bulk plating but also the fact that she also leveled up in grit a little bit as well so grit is also a good one to keep an eye on when you're leveling your followers 
because this will also help give them a bit more armor and increase their armor value even higher and the beauty of a fully leveled up follower is there is another way that you can get their damage number so their strength damage bonus at the bottom there even higher still and that is if you feed them a piece of salted pork that will give them another 15% on top of their strength bonus and then if you feed them either the grey lotus or the black lotus potion or if you're doing the elixirs from the sorcery you give her the elixir of might that will give them another 15% so you add those both together and you give them let's say a follower has 52% strength bonus now and you give them those two combinations that's another 30% on top of that which takes them up to 82% strength weapon bonus which means if they weren't hitting like a truck before they definitely will be now so as I was saying many different armor sets that you can learn and one of them is up here in the black keep I have to excuse the uh, darkness, I have put the gamma up a little bit, but it is very dark in here. But the gentleman you can see stood next to me, that's the King Scourge, you'll have to defeat him. But this will teach you the Silent Legion recipe, which is the armour that he's wearing, plus the big two-handed sword that he has, and also the one-handed sword. And once again, the Silent Legion light, medium and heavy, and the redeemed version and to do this all you need to do is interact with this big tablet here behind him and as you can see that brings up all the recipes for the silent legion armor then your next one is a bit further back down the map it's not up in the snow this one so this is a little bit easier to get well these two are a little bit easier to get but the dungeon itself is quite challenging and your first one is the champion's armor which is in this room in the arena which although it puts us up over there on the map is actually over here just north of Sepamaru Clayol Stronghold or the Warmaker Sanctuary now you won't have to fight the Arena Champion because when you come in the door over there you can just stick along that back wall stay along this back wall here and then sneak into here, she won't aggro, so you'll be perfectly fine then what you want to do is you'll have to probably kill these guys, there's two of them one here and one down there, but what you want to interact with is this recipe here and as you'll see, that teaches us the champion's armour then once you've continued through the Warmaker's Sanctuary and you've taken out the Warmaker's Champion, which is this guy here, he is wearing the armor set that you can learn in here which is the Godbreaker armor but the only piece we're interested in for our followers from this is the Godbreaker grips obviously now in here you've got various rooms all around the outside that if you've collected the four rusted keys you can open those doors and get yourself some little goodies out of some different chests and of course if you've got your legendary keys all six of them you'll have three chests here and three chests over that side of the door that you can learn but what I'm really interested in here is this tablet which as you'll see teaches you that recipe and also in here you can learn this tablet which teaches you another recipe so you get the Godbreaker armor in here and also the knowledge that allows you to craft the bulk plating and the master armor plating for example so you can learn both of those and the Godbreaker armor here before you then exit the dungeon well exit from the boss fight back into the dungeon to take you back to the exit out this door this way then our final recipe that we need to learn the knowledge for is down here in the sinkhole which is located here on the map just far north of Nib River and also up from the summoning place so it's just here quite a central location you can either come in through the arena itself which is a bit of a fight and lots of corruption to deal with or you can do some parkour down the side which is possible or if like on here you have a server where people can place an elevator in you place an elevator and ride down the elevator 
into this area and of course you've got the dragon in the center and there are skeletons all around the outside that will attack when you come in here so you may have to, may have to fight off one or two around here so just be wary of those but the tablet you're interested in is this one here lots of different items there all the dragon bone stuff because again the dragon bone or the void force dragon has various weapons and also comes in light medium and heavy even though it's a heavy chest that we're interested in it again comes in light medium and heavy so you don't need to fight the dragon you can either go back out through the arena or if you've got an elevator make your way back out in your elevator but this is the particular tablet you're looking for just up here on this platform and then finally as we mentioned earlier the Pictish War Chief is part of a DLC and then the Tavern Guard armor is part of the Battle Pass from Age of War Chapter 3 so if you've unlocked it from that you can get that one and then the other sets that we looked at earlier farmable as the regular heavy silent legion from the one skull mini bosses with the relic hunters farmable from mounds of the dead so the sumerian heavy armor again or you can learn this in your own inventory and in your knowledge and craft it yourself but at first of the game it's easy enough to go and farm mounds of the dead the perfected version of the heavy armor can be earned by completing the journey steps for the armor journey and then the hyperborean the barakam reaver and lots of other basic early game sets will show up in your knowledge tab so when you come to all your armor sets here you unlock your first type of armor then you'll see all of the different sets that you're able to craft and each and every one have different armor values and different bonuses depending on what it is that you are looking for so that's just a few examples of different armor sets that you could give your followers be it early to mid game or end game and also my recommendation of a way to give a certainly a strength based follower a really good chance certainly agility is possible as well but strength based followers are what I've more or less focused on in my time in playing and it seems to work really really well as I say it's purely a recommendation it's not me saying that this is meta and this is what you must do all I ask is that people try these out first and then give me their comments afterwards to what they thought whether it was good or not or if they've got any other ideas do let us know down in the comments below come along and join us on a Friday evening at uh, 7 till 9 p.m. UK time for our live stream and keep an eye on the community page for updates or any questions or polls that may be put out on there and also I do post on there from time to time if there's going to be an upcoming live stream that's a different day to Friday and why not subscribe if you haven't already while you're there and while you're there it's all well and good talking about these armor sets and saying what to get but how do we get these followers in the first place to put these armor sets on them well there's a video on screen right now which will show you that why not go check that one out and I'll meet you over there.